everyone welcome to another video in this video I will show you how to update your browser on your Samsung TV now as you know you can use uh, you know applications and a lot of different things on Samsung TV and one of those applications is your browser on your Samsung TV so let's get started so as you can see the browser for Samsung TV can be accessed by pressing the smart hub or home button on your remote Obviously, once you found the web browser, you can launch it from your remote control or other available options. Now, one thing to note is that you can download Mozilla Firefox, you can download uh, Google Chrome, you can download other type and forms of browsers, um, depending, you know, what a type of Android you have installed on your uh, on your Samsung uh, TV. Basically, that's a software. Android is a software, so basically, what kind of software you have on your TV, it will depend. Now, obviously, if you want to go and uh, if you want to update the browser, here are the needed steps that you need to do. So basically, you need to open the settings menu and select support and then select software update. Now, from there, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update. From there, you will have uh, the update done. Uh, on your TV remote, press the smart hub option or button. Go to the support and you have software update in the settings menu. Auto update should be selected. That's basically your software auto updating your Samsung TV. From there, you can update your TV's software over the internet or using a USB flash drive. I would prefer over the internet, I would recommend. So just keep in mind that after a software update, your video and audio settings might automatically go to default. If your TV isn't connected to the internet or your internet connection isn't stable, you can also update using a USB. Uh, again, that can be a good uh, option, although I always like to uh, uh, do it uh, and recommend it over the internet. From there, your Samsung TV will be updated and automatically along with the device browser and other apps. And after successful system update, that's pretty much it. You will need to just restart your Samsung TV uh, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next video.